What is going on everybody? Today we got a pretty cool review. A custom color Gibson SG in TV yellow. And for all of you Gibson quality control police on the internet and in the comments, this guitar, spoiler alert, is fantastic. So yeah, this is the 61 Gibson SG in a custom color, which is the TV yellow. Now these come in a few different custom colors and uh, they're really, really cool. Uh, but other than that, it is just like a 61-ish SG. There is an SG standard with the full pit guard and there's a couple of other key differences we'll talk about when we go over features. I'll let you know what those differences are uh, in the video and give you my impressions of the instrument as well as uh, some sound samples. As we go along, you've already heard one, but you could hear more. Before we get going, I wanna thank my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. Please check it out, patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone, as well as the YouTube members who hit the little join button down there. Uh, and of course, Dylan Talks Tone, because we make pickups. That's what we do. Uh, that's what keeps the lights on around here. And for this video, I really want to thank Gibson for sending me this guitar to check it out. It kind of sucks. I have to give it back. Uh, so, you know, but so a little spoiler alert. I kind of like it. Uh, let's get into the features of this thing. Let's start down here at the peg head. Uh, it's a Gibson, right? So instead of uh, Grover tuners, like on a normal SG standard, we've got the proper Keystone uh, style tuners uh, from you know the more vintage style guitar. We've got a Graftech nut, which works incredibly well and is cut perfectly. And I haven't had any tuning stability issues with this guitar. I've been playing it for about a week and a half or so, quite a bit. Um, when I got it out of the box, it was set up basically perfectly. I haven't actually touched anything on the guitar. I have not adjusted pickup heights. I have not adjusted neck uh, profile or um, neck relief. I haven't adjusted anything. In fact, let me just check it right now after it's been here for a little bit. I mean, it's it's really good. This thing has been right out of the box. It was. It was amazing. Uh, it comes in a black hard shell case. That's another difference from the regular standard that's a couple hundred bucks cheaper. That one comes in a gig bag. This comes in your proper black hard shell SG style case. We've got rosewood fretboard here. We've got a bound neck with the nibs over the uh, fretboard and uh, the fret ends. The fretwork was phenomenal. A lot of people talk about dead spots on SGs. Didn't have any of those. Uh, I checked it kind of all over and just made sure we didn't have any high spots or any kind of rattles like that. Absolutely perfect. The finish on the guitar is unbelievably good. I just, it's so cool. Um, nitrocellulose lacquer, of course, because it is a Gibson and it just feels fantastic. Uh, another difference between the, um, this and the regular standard is we're going to have different knobs. We're going to have different bridge. So this is an ABR on the standard one. It's going to be a Nashville. We're going to have 490s and 490R and 490T A2s in the standard one. And these are burst buckers in this guitar. Um, it's got orange drop caps in it. It is a properly, properly put together SG. <laughs>
All right, so let's talk about playability. Um, it's great. Slim 60s taper neck, which I really like. We've got, um, like I said, that GraphTech nut in there was set up perfectly. I'd say 1.69 uh, inch nut width, which is the basically just the Slim 60s kind of deal. Feels great, plays great. Um, like I said, the, the setup was fantastic. The rosewood fretboard looks really, really nice. It's got a lot of different color variation in it. Um, and it doesn't have the tiny frets like my Junior, you know, my Les Paul Junior that I've got here, or my SG Junior that I've got here has got little tiny frets on it. So this has got proper uh, size frets. Um, of course, it's been plecked. So like we talked about earlier, there was really no issues with it uh, setup wise. It just, it sounded awesome. And I don't know, it's really, really fun. Uh, people talk about neck dive with SGs. Just, there's, there's a couple things you can do to fix that. One, don't cheap out on a strap. Uh, you're not gonna buy a $2,000 guitar. That's what this is, $19.99. Uh, you're not gonna buy a $2,000 guitar and put a $5 cheap nylon strap on it. Get a properly good, nice leather strap, two or three inches wide. Uh, and when you play the guitar, you, if you saw uh, Jimmy Soldo's video over on Jersey Shore Guitar Garage, he talked about planting his forearm when he plays the guitar. You just plant your forearm right here and it completely negates the neck dive issue. Between that and a good strap and not too silky of a rock and roll shirt, when you're playing, you'll be totally fine. Um, and you know, if you play with two hands, it will be totally fine. Um, I don't have any issue playing this guitar in my lap or standing up. Now, if you stand here and let go of the guitar and don't hold on to it, it will fall. But that's not how you play guitar. Usually you have your hand here and you, you know, you you plant it just like this. There's no reason not to do that. And even on a strap, there's no reason not to do that. And this is how you do it. Like you just play guitar and it's not a problem. Um, even though, even so, the guitar is actually very well balanced. Um, you know, I can't really give you a, I don't know how to show you like a good balance to this thing, but it's actually more body weighted than the neck uh, it is. So that that's kind of nice. Like if I'm sitting here just trying to balance it on my hand, it's going towards the body. Um, so I think the fallacy with that whole neck dive thing has to do a lot with uh, the cheaper guitars. So a lot of your copies and a lot of your lower priced SGs, like the tributes and such, like the tributes are gonna have a maple neck that neck is gonna be heavier, heavier, it's probably gonna dive more. Um, a lot of your Epiphones, the wood selection is not as, uh, well, they're not as picky, basically, about wood selection when it comes to making the Epiphones as they are the, the SGs. I happen to know that they specifically choose the wood for this model. They don't actually take a piece of wood and, oh, this one's for a Les Paul, let me grab this one, it's for an SG. They actually select the mahogany for this model. So they do a little bit, you know, their due diligence on it. That's why these guitars come out the way they do. <laughs> It's fantastic. Um, I really, really, really am super happy with it. It's super fun. It sucks I have to give it back uh, to Gibson because I'm probably just gonna have to get one of these for myself. I don't have an SG right now and I really love it. The burst buckers sound great. 
they it's just super fun the guitar is just super fun i it's been in the living room on the couch with me uh for about a week and i've just really really enjoyed it um i didn't know i was an sg guy i mean i have the sg junior but that's a totally different guitar the neck width is different there's no dots there's no binding on the neck there's only one P90, of course. It's just a completely different playing experience. Um, and of course, it's a completely different playing experience than the Les Paul. And it's actually even a different playing experience than the Les Paul Modern Light that we just had in here. It's its own thing, obviously. So I, it's just a really cool guitar. I, I've really been kind of kind of smitten with it. It's been super fun. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to get one. Uh, it probably won't be this one. But I think I'm going to get one. Uh, the only reason I say not this one is because, well, A, it has to go back to Gibson, and B, um, I don't know if I would get the TV yellow color myself. I'm a little bit of a traditionalist when it comes to my vintage style guitars, and I think I would want the red one. I'm not sure, but that would be my first guess. Uh, but there you go. There it is. The Gibson SG61 in the custom color TV yellow. Again, I want to thank you, Gibson, for sending me this guitar to let me check it out. And uh, I also want to thank, again, my Patreon supporters for supporting these videos and making them possible because that's mostly how we do all this stuff is through Patreon support. We have a bunch of fun stuff going over there right now. We're posting almost every day on Patreon, so make sure you go and check that out. Uh, thank you for hanging out, and we will see you in the next video.